So, Hun Real Issues have asked us to give some commentary about women's issues, particularly around the Eighth Amendment. How do you feel about that? I, as a human being and as a woman, don't like the idea of other people telling me what I can and can't do. <laughs> so, body autonomy. I think it's it's autonomy in all aspects of, of our lives, um, whether it is how you spend your money, how you save your money, how you children or how you you know do anything and and when you know when it comes to the issue of my body I want to be in control of the choices that are made around that and they're really fundamental choices that have such strong ramifications for so many women you know this, it, I, I just don't understand why we're still in this situation uh, it seems almost ludicrous to have this conversation and even naturally embarrassing doesn't it but how would you motivate Evie, your daughter, to get involved in this conversation? I think it's around understanding who we are as a mature artist in society. You know, this is, we're, we're so linked with our Catholic past. And we've made such amazing strides as a nation to, to put ourselves at the top of the mountain as, as innovators, as social thinkers. We move fast when we move. Um, and to motivate anybody who might watch this, what would you say? How would you advise doing interesting research into understanding the amendment? I think all you need to do is to listen to the real stories. Um, and I think as an abstract concept, it's very difficult to understand what this means. But if you read the stories of, this, of some of the women who've been affected by this, it gets real, real quick. You know, for this entire talk, I've been res re uh, resisting the urge. <laughs> <laughs>